talk of a tie-up between AOL and Yahoo, as well as Microsoft. News Corporation's My, uh, MySpace also potentially could be uh, a potential suitor or a tie-up uh, candidate for Microsoft. Also talks of a Microsoft-Facebook sort of alliance. Microsoft currently already uh, has a minority shake in Facebook. So a lot of people in a bed with each other. Uh, who knows what's going to happen here, but certainly big tech dominating today's trading session so far. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Shabani, thanks so much. Shabani Joshi over at the NASDAQ. Well, in uh, tight economic times, boosting your personal bottom line it might not be the best thing for the company's bottom line, but our next guest has advice on how to make sure that your hard work is fairly compensated. Might be through money or maybe some perks. Larry Bayoul is a freelance writer, contributor to HotJobs.com, joins us from Los Angeles for this week's Moving Up segment. So, times are tough, or maybe not so tough, but just the fear of uh, a tough time. You did a good job, you walk into the boss, and the boss says you don't get a raise. What happens? Well, you should have a plan uh, ahead of time. Uh, know what is really important to you. There was a, a study that uh, I found um, that uh, a lot of employees don't really care that much about uh, income. Uh, if it comes right down to it, they'd actually like more flex time, uh, better vacation benefits, uh, better health care benefits. So even if uh, you are offered more money, uh, it, chances are you might not even take it. Uh, it's, I think it's important to, before you walk into the boss, find out, you know, decide what's really important to you, uh, have a plan, uh, decide what you're going to ask for, and, um, and then ask for it. You, it can't hurt to ask. Uh, the, the only thing you don't want to do is demand. Uh, where's that fine line between saying here's what I want or here's what I demand? I mean, how do you uh, how do you play that? Well, uh, I, I think it's important to put it in terms of what's good for the company and what's good for the department. Um, you know, it's important to understand that uh, m companies will do what's in their best interest. And if it happens to be in your best interest, too, great. So if you want something, say, um, a sabbatical, uh, and you can make a case that you will be a better employee, more refreshed when you come back from that sabbatical, it won't cost the company anything, um, go ahead and ask for it. Uh, likewise, uh, uh, flex time is very important uh, to a lot of employees now. Um, if you say, look, uh, I can get here faster if I come in at uh, 10 o'clock and I can stay until 8 o'clock. Um, it won't disrupt the company. Uh, it won't cost you anything. Um, it, will you do that? And, and chances are uh, they will go for it you if it's not disrupting the company and it's not costing them anything. You find, Larry, though, that it depends upon the size of the company. I would imagine a small business owner is going to be much more flexible and make a better place to work than maybe a large corporation where they say, look, these are the rules. I got guidelines. I got bosses above me. Um, here's the manual. Take a look. I can't make your I can't uh, meet your your expectations. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. And um, it's important to know, like, uh, to get a feel for the, uh, the lay of the land. So um, if you're not sure, ask around. Uh, ask some of your coworkers whether um, they have any uh, flexible benefits. Uh, if they have any, um, you know, daycare, if they're getting a, uh, a gas card uh, reimbursement. Um, and then see, you know, if, if, that's, if they're getting that, then there's a chance that you will, too. Um, I haven't actually seen a, a big disparity between small companies and large companies as far as asking for uh, these perquisites, as we call them. All right. So the, 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 the message is don't be shy. Go ahead and ask the question. Yeah, if, exactly. If you don't ask, you won't receive. Yeah. All right, Larry Buell. Freelance writer, hotjobs.com contributor in Los Angeles. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. Degan? Well, we're watching here. this market so, oh, so closely, Tom, because you've got the service sector brightening. Stocks are down. The Dow down about 66 points at the moment. And you've got crude oil.